Hi friends, welcome back to the new series Angular Interview Concepts with Explanation. In this series, I am trying to explain some of the concepts those are most focused on Angular interviews. If you just prepare for your Angular interview like a question and answer format, it won't help you a lot. If the same question is asked differently, you may struggle. Instead, if you understand the core concept behind that, you will not forget forever and you can easily answer. That is what I am trying to explain with some examples. Let's start. One another most common questions you may expect in Angular interview is what is view encapsulation? View encapsulation is a concept or a behavior in Angular where component CSS styles are encapsulated into the components view and don't affect the rest of the application. If you explain this definition correctly, you may get additional questions on what are the types and how they work. Most of us know there are three types emulated, none, and shadow DOM. But do you know how exactly they work? Let me explain. I have created an Angular application in which I have created two components, top and bottom. Let me delete everything in app component and add these two components there. Now we could see this. Let me add some contents also. A container div, a heading and a paragraph. Let me copy the same to the bottom component and update that as well. Okay, perfect. Now to understand the encapsulation concept, first we need to understand how CSS is scoped in Angular. We have a styles.css. This is global CSS. Let me add some styles which are common to my entire application. Okay, now I want to add some component specific styles. So let me go to the top component CSS and for the container class, let me add a light purple background and text color purple. Copying the same to bottom component CSS and changing the colors. Okay, let's preview this. Now we could see the colors applied are scoped only to the respective component. This is the default behavior and this is called encapsulation. If we inspect, we can see the common container class have some style. These are the styles we applied in the global styles.css. This is application level. But if you see here, you can see some specific text kind of an attribute. Yes, even in the DOM, we can see the same text. So Angular by default add unique text to each component and map the style specific to that component separately. This is how Angular takes care of encapsulation. Now let us see the three options in view encapsulation. First one is emulated which is the default one. Inside the add component decorator, we can specify the encapsulation like this. Let me give emulated first. There is no difference because emulated is the default behavior. We don't want to explicitly mention that. If I change it to none, no difference, is it? Let me give heading tag a background color yellow and color black. Now we have applied this style to top component CSS. As we have specified view encapsulation none, now this style will be scoped to global level so it will affect the bottom component as well. Let me show that. If I inspect, we can see now there is no special attribute or component specific text in the DOM because we have specified as view encapsulation none. So whatever styles we are putting in this component will go out of this component and reflect in other components. You may ask then why the background color is not reflected. That is because it is reflecting, but as we have specified the background color in the bottom component also, it has higher specificity and it overrides the color from top component. You can see that here. If I am commenting that code in bottom component, we can see those styles are also reflected here. Let me uncomment it. Now let's see the third option, shadow down. Let me go to the bottom component and mention it as view encapsulation shadow DOM. Okay. Now we can see the width, height and padding we mentioned in the global styles is there only in the top component. It is missing in the bottom component. To explain it clearly, let me add a color red to the p tag globally. We can see it is reflected only in the top component. This is because of the shadow DOM option. When we mention it as shadow DOM, the entire DOM is wrapped inside a shadow DOM and it will not consider the styles from global. But it is taking the styles those are scoped out of the component in which we have mentioned v encapsulation none. I can show that. If I remove this style from global CSS and put it in top component, we can see it is reflected in both top and bottom component. If I put it in bottom component, 
we can see it is reflected only in that component. And if I put it back only in global CSS, it is reflected only in the top component. This is how view encapsulation works. Hope you understood this. Please subscribe to my channel and support me. I'll be back with another concept soon. Thank you. Bye.